The Bible is a gold mine. You just gotta dig for it. By just reading scripture casually, yes, we can already get wisdom and treasures. But there's so much more that you can get from digging deeper into the passages. Remember that a Bible study is God coming down with a message. But what if we don't exactly know how to dig? I've honestly gone through that too, but one day at a Bible study class that I attended, I learned about the inductive, the inductive Bible, Bible study. study. There are three steps in doing so. Observation interpretation, and application. I'll be having a three-part series on this, and in this episode, we'll be talking about observation. So, stay tuned! Hello people in the world, I'm Hannah of Hope in Future Bible Devotions. This channel gives you encouragement and godly wisdom with Bible context and life application. So welcome and if you're new here and that's what you're looking for, consider subscribing. Observation answers the question, what do I see? We'll look at a selected verse or a passage and literally observe what we see. We'll be biblical detectives. There are four basic things we'll be looking for in a text. First is terms. These are keywords. What is given emphasis to by the author of a book? What words are repeated? You can even look up the definition of important words to understand them even more deeply and write them down. Sometimes I look at different Bible versions to see what words were used in them. Next is structure. Remember that the Bible is not a collection of random stories from different authors. It's a library of books written by one author. God himself, but written through people who were under the influence of the Holy Spirit. With that said, it is organized and there is structure. We also look at grammatical structure. But I already graduated from school. Well, if you want to extract the most out of a text, grammar will be very helpful. Look at the verbs, the subject, object, descriptive words, prepositional phrases, connectives like but and and. They help extract more meaning. Trust me, if you go through as much as you can, there is so much that you can get from the word. Another example of a connective is the word therefore, which connotes conclusion. And that will make you look at the verses prior to that because you want to know what is being pointed out in the those verses so that you can see how they arrived to that conclusion. You can also look at how the text is written. There's question and answer, cause and effect, comparison, contrast, and a lot more. Check out for patterns. See who the focus is. For example, in the book of Genesis, most of it focuses on the four patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph. You can also see where the focus is. Look at the historical events in the Bible. Like in the book of Joshua, you'll see the events unfold from Joshua becoming the leader of the Israelites until the time that they possess the promised land. What is the theme and the purpose of the book? Summarize or paraphrase a chapter or the passage that you will be studying in your own words. Before we continue, if this video has been helping you so far, please hit the like button as it helps the algorithm spread this farther. Next is literary form. The different books of the Bible have different forms. There's poetry, there's songs, letters, history, romance, and etc. And each form has its rules we have to learn so that we can understand the message behind them. But in the end, know that the Holy Spirit will communicate his message through these different forms. So the major thing to remember is that before you start a Bible study, pray because we need wisdom that comes from the Holy Spirit. Then we have atmosphere. What was the setting? Where was the author when he was writing? During our Bible study class, we were given an overview of the Bible and every time we would have to study a text, we were taught to see which part of the Bible the setting was in. It really helped the students picture ourselves in the passage. Terms, structure, literary form, and atmosphere. For more resources on what I use to go more in depth with my Bible Bible study, check out the description below. I also got a few Bible studies where we will see evidence that I use the inductive Bible study, so check them out over here. We are people in the world, but not of the world. Keep your eyes on Jesus. 